Stan Gibalisco here. I'm going to show you uh, something that you <coughs> may never have seen before. It's a, a dual gate metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, dual gate MOSFET. <coughs> what it is basically is a, an ordinary metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. In this case, the depletion mode N channel type but not with one gate, but two. Now remember that the gate in a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor um, acts sort of like a, a sort of like stepping down on a hose. The more negative the voltage you apply to the gate, the narrower the channel gets because of the de depletion region. In that uh, sense, it works very much like a junction field effect transistor. But the metal oxide technology allows for, uh, readily allows for the use of two rather than just one gates. Now here's an example of how you might bias a circuit like this. You connect the source, maybe through a resistor, to your chassis ground you connect the drain, maybe through an output transformer. Well, let's just say a, a coil and capacitor type arrangement like this. Here's your output. There's your drain right there. Source, drain, and dense to a positive source of DC voltage, say 12 volts. Now the gates are negatively biased, so they're going to have to use blocking capacitors like this. Let's call this input 1 Let's call this, oops, nitput 2. There's your blocking capacitors. You're going to have to provide some sort of bias for this. Now this is just uh, like an ordinary, uh, well, yeah, let's connect it to a negative source of voltage. So we can attain, having a little bit of trouble here getting my schematic uh, arrangement just so. Now, what we have here is gate number two, gate number one. Can you read that? I look like a doctor writing a prescription, don't I? Okay. What does this remind you of? It ought to remind you, if you're an old timer, of a tetrode vacuum tube. And in fact, this is a sort of a tetrode device. Four elements, tetrode. One, the source. Two, the first gate. Three, the second gate. And four, the drain. When you do this, kind of a circuit arrangement, you have an amplifier with two different inputs. And when you have an amplifier with two different inputs, you can input two different signals to that amplifier and get a mixer. Well, there's one application of a dual gate MOSFET right there. If you provide an extreme negative voltage that you can key on and off to gate number two, whereas applying the ordinary input signal to gate number one, you can get a form of gate block keying. So you can have a keyed amplifier, you can have a mixer. Uh, there are other types of things you can do. You can sort of modify the mixer concept and end up with a modulator to produce 
amplitude modulated signals. In the receive mode you can also have a mixer. You're obviously not going to key a receiver amplifier but you may want to provide two different inputs in a superheterodyne type receiver arrangement. A dual gate MOSFET. It's like a hose. The channel is your hose but instead of just one foot stepping down on that hose and regulating the current through the channel, you have two feet independently stepping down on that hose regulating the current through the channel. The electrons generally flow towards the positive like that and you can regulate that electron flow and thereby regulate the output signal by stepping down on the hose in either of two different places. A dual gate MOSFET. Myriad applications, well myriad meaning thousands, I don't know if they're thousands, but there are a lot of variants on these concepts for the dual gate MOSFET. So now you know what that is if you've ever heard of anybody talk about that. It is the solid state analog for you old timers of a tetrode vacuum tube but it's more flexible than the tetrode vacuum tube is because uh, you don't have to bias these two gates differently. You can bias them just the same. Maybe instead of a negative voltage you would want to simply ground them. Get that ground symbol out of the way of my writing. Voila! The dual gate MOSFET. Champion of flexibility in the metal oxide semiconductor discrete component kingdom. Stan Jabalisco signing off for now. Until next time, so long.